Hey, what's up, guys? Crow back here with another video, and as you can tell, this is gonna be a different type of video than one I usually make. Uh, I usually just do gaming videos, but that stuff gets boring, so I want to do something different. Before I get into the video, though, make sure to like and subscribe for more. All right, I'm almost at 16k subs, so I'm hoping to get there soon. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the new rappers that are on the come. A lot of these new wave rappers are actually super young, and as a teenager myself, I ain't gonna lie, man, it feels good to see them out here doing shit that you would expect adults to be doing. Made me happy, made me smile, nice. Like I said earlier though, these kids are as young as 14, right? They're in middle school and high school, and they're doing big shit. Some of the people that I'm talking about are Baby Santana. Some people say Coach Ice, but I'm pretty sure it's Coach Tell him what's up, 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 tell him what's up. SSG Kobe. Young Chris. Cash Dami. Your bitch see the racks and she do a handstand. Nigga, you broke, you don't got no bands, man. Hop up the coupe, I'm dropping my pants, man. So Fago. I know who's there. Last but not least, I had to include him. It's not. Bitch, I'm reckless, I'm ruthless. Very much stupid. All about this money, niggas hit my phone, who this? People like Snot and Sofago are bigger artists on this list, but I'm still gonna mention them because they still blew up just like the other ones. Obviously, there is some smaller artists out there that I haven't mentioned, so comment down below some that I should check out. Although, I'm gonna talk about a few more like Slump 6S, but I'll get to that in a second. Seeing each of them blow up is actually really cool, and they all kind of blew up in the same way, too. TikTok has helped a lot, but also things like Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade. Shout out to him for real because he let these younger artists have a bigger platform and get them more noticed. And if you haven't noticed, a lot of these artists hang out and are cool to each other. Someone told me that Baby Santana and Cash Dami actually met through Discord, but I'm not too sure on how true Something that is. I do know is true is that the rapper Lil Tecca saw one of Santana's music videos and decided to keep an eye out on him for a couple months to see if he was the right person to work with. Tecca ended up starting a collective called First Class Angels, filled with mostly teenage rappers and producers. On their SoundCloud, it says that the roster is followed, so I'm gonna just go off down who's all in it. But these people are as young as 13. Just imagine a lunch table freestyles at school, bro. That shit must be fun. Right. But for real, shout out to Tecca for bringing this collective together, and he's kind of just starting his own era. But they have two vlogs posted that you can go check out if you want on Trillis NYC on YouTube. Uh, they're pretty cool. I'll watch them. So that's what the background footage is. From. It's pretty crazy to see how much they've grown. Like, for example, Cash Dom. Here's a song he made a little bit over a year ago. Chop, chop wood extensions, man. Y'all rappers capping up. Homie wanna snitch, so we get left in the truck. Compared to one of his newer songs. If you think you're down, I kick him like the marriage. Smoke top shelf, this shit ain't average. All of these artists have already grown a shit ton. And I can only imagine how much more advanced and better they'll get. And with Rolling Loud being these last couple of days, some of these artists got to perform on stage. Snot, Sofago, Lil Tecca brought out Baby Santana, and Snot brought out Coaches. Also, before making this video, I DM'd a few of the lesser known artists, just asking them if there's anything they wanted me to say specifically in the video, and well, only two responded, all right, but that's all right, okay, but I'll show you the DMs. One of the artists that DM'd me back is one that I talked about earlier in the video, but the other one I haven't talked about, so I'll get to him in a second. Shout out to Young Chris especially, because he responded to my DM, and I noticed that he interacts with his fans on Instagram, like through polls and shit like that. But in his DM, he told me that he used to record his music off his phone up to January of this This is year. something I want to talk about as well, because he made it work with what he had, and if you ever want to make music, then I'm sure you can too. If there's any other smaller artists out there right now, Bro, take this shit as motivation. This is one of the best times right now to try to make it big as an artist with how easy it is to share your music around. And although it does help, you don't even need all this fancy equipment to get started. Now I'm gonna talk about a lesser known artist that I bet none of y'all have heard of, but don't take that as he's garbage. He goes by Rainy Boy John. He's been making music for like four years now. Although he's a little older than Baby Santana, he started around 15, 16, and he's still going. Here's a clip from one of his newest songs. Flex and do what I want, man. What you talking about? What? That boy say he'll slide. What we finna figure out? Like Santana. Santana, Random Boy John has his own little group of people he makes music with around the same age as him. They met in school and started rapping early on. One of these people is Corey DeCree, which is featured on my favorite song by Random Boy John. Glock nine up to your head, don't think you'll see another day. Riding swerving in the traffic, just make sure there ain't no other way. Another artist he hangs out with is Tamelo, and I'm pretty sure they met freshman year in high school. 
And the picture in the back from the left to right is Tamelo, Corey DeCreed, and Randy Butcher. Also, he's produced a few beats in the past, but he hasn't made anything anytime soon. He's performed in front of small audiences before, but I can't wait to see what stages he'll be on in the future. Also, he doesn't have any music videos, otherwise I would have put some in the video, but maybe we'll see some soon. Let me know in the comments down below who's your favorite artist that I mentioned in this video, and let me know where you see them in five years. Do you think they'll continue to grow or just fall off like Lil Pump after a few hits? Personally, I wish nothing but the best for them and their future careers. I'm going to link all the artists mentioned in this video down in the Description below. But with that being said, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.